In the golden age of Islamic science, a brilliant mind emerged, one whose work laid the foundation for modern chemistry, medicine, and engineering. His name was Jabir ibn Hayyan, known in the West as Geber. But was he merely an alchemist or the true father of chemistry? Born in the early 8th century in Persia, Jabir ibn Hayyan was raised in a time of intellectual and political transformation. His father, a pharmacist, was executed for political reasons, leaving young Jabir to seek knowledge on his own. He eventually moved to Kufa, Iraq, where he became a student of the renowned scholar Ja'far al-Sadiq. Under Ja'far's guidance, Jabir developed a deep interest in science. Jabir ibn Hayyan's contributions to chemistry were groundbreaking. He was the first to refine the process of distillation, which led to the purification of substances like alcohol and acids. His works described key chemical processes such as sublimation, crystallization, evaporation, filtration. Most notably, Jabir is credited with the discovery of sulfuric acid, nitric acid and hydrochloric acid, substances that are still fundamental to modern chemistry. Jabir's knowledge was preserved in over 3,000 works, collectively known as the Jabirian Corpus. These books covered alchemy, medicine, astronomy and even philosophy. His work laid the foundation for later chemists like Robert Boyle and Antoine Lavoisier, who formally defined chemistry as a science. Jabir lived during the era of Harun al-Rashid, who's famous for overseeing the Islamic Golden Age. But his rule was also marked by severe repression of political dissidents. After Harun al-Rashid's death in 809 CE, his sons Al-Amin and Al-Ma'mun fought a brutal civil war over the caliphate. Al-Ma'mun, with the help of Persian forces, defeated Al-Amin and took control of the Abbasid Empire in 813 CE. The rise of the Abbasid Caliphate had brought both opportunity and danger. Jabir, a student of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq and a known supporter of the Ahlul Bayt, had fallen out of favour with the ruling elite. Many scholars associated with the opposition were imprisoned or exiled. Jabir ibn Hayyan's work transformed alchemy into a scientific discipline. His legacy continues to shape the world of chemistry, proving that knowledge is timeless. The father of chemistry lives on in every laboratory, every experiment and every discovery.